Hey everybody, how's it going? Ben Speed here again. Um, if you're watching this video, you probably saw my previous video on uh, just the, the finished build. And uh, this video is how to do um, cable management and airflow with your Thermaltake armor case um, without actually physically modding the case by cutting it or whatever. Because um, I don't like doing that, as you heard in my other video. Um, so yeah, this is how I did it. Let's just get on with it. Alright, so... Um, First off, um, when you first kind of route the cables uh, throughout your case, what you're going to notice, um, if your setup is anything like mine, with all these fans and uh, cold cathode lights and everything, you're going to have a lot of cables building up at the bottom of the case. Um, and in my previous build, before I did the better cables man management, there was just a bunch of cables. I mean, it was messy, and some of the cables were even scraping against my graphics card fan, which obviously is not good. Um, so what I did for both up down here and up there um, is I went to Ace Hardware and I got some uh, some uh, I guess wire I don't know tubing or whatever it has this little split in it and I cut it to the appropriate lengths and just uh, fit it around my uh, showing uh, you know exposed cables um, and it works great I mean as you see it just really tucks them away nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what's running through here. Uh, I have my fan right here. That's uh, just I'll explain why that's there in a sec, but just for sake of argument, I'm just going to show you where it's going. I have the power cable from that going through here, as well as the two power cables from my two 120 millimeter fans up here in the front running through there. I also have the uh, um, cold cathode box power connector also connected to there. The uh, back fan for my you know exhaust also is connected down to there as well as finally my uh, hard drive fan it's also exhaust is connected down to here so as you can obviously see a lot of stuff's running through here um, so that's how I covered that up um, and then going up here I have really three connections for power actually I'm sorry four connections for power running through here um, and as you guys know um, with Molex connectors it's not like there's just one Molex connector for each wire they kind of branch off from each other, so when you use one, you effectively still have two that are open. So that's what you're seeing all right here, because um, I have my power connector for power connectors for my two hard drives, um, disk drive, and my fan up here. So this is all the fans that are or the sorry, I'm really brand right now. The real, the, all the um, cables that are excess from that. Um, yeah, and then as far as for the back of the case goes, and using the little space you have. Um, if your power supply is not modular like mine isn't, um, you're likely going to have some extra power cables unless you have a bunch of crap that you're using in the front um, that you can route through here. Um, there's a little bit of space that you can kind of just zip tie everything to these little brackets right here. Just tuck it as best as you can, kind of tuck these wires in through here so that way they're not hanging out and getting in the way of that panel when you put it back on. And these are all my excess. Um, you're obviously very limited to how much you can put back here. Um, but, you know, I'm just try and make some use of it, because it is there. Alright, and then, as for the others, what I did, as you can probably already see, is I went and got an extra hard drive cage um, that holds a fan in the front. Um, and what I used it for is I kind of used the hard drive spaces as, like, shelves for my, uh, you know, various power cables. Um, as you can see, I used this one as a shelf for my motherboard cable. Um, and then also kind of have some cables riding down through here to supply the extra power from the top to all these fans. Um, as well as my two PCI Express 8-pin connectors to my graphics card. Also riding down through there. Um, yeah, it works great. Um, it also helps with you being able to put an extra fan up there, so it works out awesome in the end. Um, and then as far as for hard drives, data connections, I have my two data connections going through here. Um, I have my IDE connector for my um, storage hard drive right there, and then the SATA connector for my OS hard drive right there. Both right, just right down there. Um, yeah, so I believe that's all for cable management. Um, so yeah, so now on to airflow. So I got two 120 millimeter fans up here. Um, if you guys own the case, um, which likely most of you do because you're watching this video, you know that. The armor case only comes with one 120 millimeter fan, so when you get the, if you get the hard drive cage, you'll actually be able to effectively put another fan on top, which helps greatly, and I'll explain you why. Okay, so the bottom fan 
what I modded it to do is it, it's running air all the way through here and it kind of diverts down into this fan. I'm running at a very, very low RPM, relatively speaking. And what it's doing is it's kind of feeding my graphics card with some extra um, air right there. Um, because if you guys own a 3870 X2 or a 4870X2 or any of these monster fan graphics cards, you know that when they're at 100% fan capacity, they definitely suck in a lot of air. And it's a lot better for it to come through the front than out the bottom of the cage right here through the carpet you know, or whatnot. So anyway, so that's for the graphics card. That's what the bottom fan's mainly doing. Um, and then as for the top fan, as you can kind of see, kind of has airflow running straight through to my true right there. And it starts right here, goes to my true for my uh, pushing, um, so push-pull configuration, push fan, and then pull fan out here, high RPM. And then also part of the airflow from the front diverts into my uh, RAM cooler, OCZ RAM cooler. It's a great RAM cooler, uh, especially for this motherboard because some of the airflow that bounces off the... Uh, uh, RAM actually diverts into my north bridge, helps it cool off, so that's great. Um, and then also part of the airflow kind of diverts up here into the back where I have my hard drive fan. It's just exhaust. Um, and then also, I'm not sure if it's really feeding it or not, but it still helps to have this fan. Because what this fan's is doing, um, it's, it came with a case, and what it's doing is it's just sucking all the hot air that's uh, rising out throughout the case. Cause um, as you guys know, air, um, hot air rises, um, and so this is that's basically just expelling that hot air. So it's really useful. Um, so yeah, I believe that's everything. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to ask. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, as well as if you have any suggestions on how I can make this better. Um, so once again, please feel free to post any comments, any suggestions, and or constructive criticism is very greatly appreciated. Um, but if not, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped some of you guys out there. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Um, and if not, then I'll talk to you guys later. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you.